Hey everyone. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Hi Del Marie. Hey Russ. Hi Diana. Debbie's not going to be able to join us, but that's cool. Hey Jacqueline. Let me know if you can hear me. <laughs> How is Bermuda today, Diana? Hey Tamala, good morning. Good morning, Terry. How are you? Hi, Charlotte. I feel like a lot of you I've spent the entire weekend with, and it's been a very fun weekend. Hey, Ingrid. Awesome. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> I always worry about that, that I'm going to be babbling on and no one's going to hear me. <laughs> Today I am working on a bag for Lauren, my oldest of the kiddos. Uh, it is a Pokemon bag, as you can see. I started on some of the prep work before, but it's not a whole lot of prep work. It is, I'm just taking uh, half yards, I think, <laughs> and kind of winging it uh, to see if I can, I, I saw this I, I troll Instagram, basically, and when I see really cool different ways of doing things, I'm like, oh, I want to try that out. So I will add the person I found this from in the description. I meant to do that this morning as I rewatched it to make sure I, I knew what I was doing, um, but I will add it in the description. Um, and I think they also have a YouTube, which is kind of cool. I want to see what else uh, they are doing when they're making bags. Nightbot is on something. It keeps saying it's been an hour when we've been on for like two minutes. I don't know what's up with that. Hey, Jackie. Warm and sunny in Bermuda. I love it. Yay. Uh, before we get started on that bag, though, I wanted to show everybody. We talked about it a little bit last night. Uh, if you had joined us on Stephanie's channel where we announced that we're doing another virtual retreat. First of all, woohoo! I'm very excited about the Beach Bum Retreat. We're doing it, gonna do much like our last virtual retreat where we had two projects. We're gonna do two projects again, but they're not gonna be like separate from each other where, where we're, they didn't have anything to do with each other. These two projects are meant to be used in tandem and together, so I am excited about that, uh, and that will be June Sunday, June 23rd, uh, which is, um, I think it's the, the fourth Sunday of the month of June, and it will be from, like, everybody can jump on at 9.30 to start saying hey and get ready, get set and everything, and then class will start at 10. <laughs> I like saying class will start at 10. Um, but if you were there for that cool announcement, we also talked a little bit about Tree of Life, which is cotton cuts puzzle mystery quilt and i didn't have my puzzle mystery quilt next to me so i didn't get to show the awesome colors so i wanted to show them this morning hey math geek how are you oh did he show up on your live yay hey fallon how are you doing today hope you're having a great weekend yeah, Nightbot is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I do not know what's happening. Oh, it's only 42 in Phoenix. What was Phoenix doing? Did Phoenix have a rough night last night? Well, <laughs> out too late? What was it doing? Yeah, I'm excited about we. <laughs> it was so funny because we were we were talking like, okay, well, you know, we definitely want to do another virtual retreat. What do you think we should do a retreat about this time? Uh, well, you know. Uh, beach and summer, you know, June, obviously. Uh, well, okay, well, I think I was thinking about this. And then Stephanie was like, oh, well, I think this. And I was like, oh, but then they can go together. So I am so excited about how you guys will be able to, to use them. It's not something weird. Um, it is, but it is a great combo for your summer vacationing in the sun. So I'm excited about it. But I want to show you guys the Cotton Cuts 
came in this cool blue box this go around for Tree of Life. Uh, for Carnival, it was, uh, I don't know, like, white box? Was it white? Or, yeah, it was white. It was just a white box. This time around, it's in a blue box. I got Autumn Shades, which is the Marrakesh Warm, which I will never call it Marrakesh. I will never call it Autumn Shades. I'll always just be calling it Marrakesh Warm because I, that's what I remember. <laughs> Although now that I've said Autumn Shades like four times, I'll probably remember that now. Uh, let's see. Well, those are the borders, so those aren't all the colors. Let's go with Clue 1. Show off Clue 1. It is going to be so pretty. Ooh, some rain. Yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Ingrid, I don't know if you want to tell folks about the, the cruise that you're going on. One, it's an awesome cause. Two, it's got awesome people going on it. Uh, you know, it... it besides Ingrid and Stephanie, it's got awesome people that are going to be there. The cruise is going to be neat. And yeah, the, the virtual retreat is going to be after that. So, uh, I know Stephanie and you will be in the beach mood for sure. Hi, Katie. Oh, that's, that's math geek. Those are going to be perfect. You are going to have fun with that. Yes. So, okay, so this is the Marrakesh Warm. So here are some of the fabrics. I don't know if I can... Okay, the green is everything to me. Actually, I, I know it's Marrakesh, but the... the um, I guess it's like kind of mosaic-y looking. Like it would be tiles. Um, but it also kind of gives me Celtic in the green. Uh, like the braiding and everything. Look at how pretty very uh fall so autumn shades is a is a good name for it i'm excited about these colors i like this uh kind of i don't know dark cinnamon it's so warm and yummy i love it well all right let's not lose any pieces before we've even started but so the tree of life so along if you have gotten the tree of life uh if you have not sent Ingrid an email. You're going to want to do that. Good morning, Terry. Uh, because if you have signed up for Tree of Life and you would like to sew along with us, we are doing uh, a little differently this go around. For Village Green and for Carnival, the sewing has been both Zoom and YouTube Live. So uh, if you wanted to join the Zoom to see us and hang out with us and, you know, like, so live with us, you had to be comfortable with being on, on YouTube live, um, which not everybody is. Uh, but every, you know, we wanted to offer the opportunity for, for people to get to be in that, in the community of sewing it all up together. Um, there's, there's some other reasons behind it, um, some personal reasons, but, uh, for the most part, it is how do we reach the most people, give the most people the opportunity to sew with us uh, that, and, and feel comfortable. So Tree of Life will never ever be uh, for out for public, I was saying for public consumption uh, last night as I was talking about it. It will always be a private Zoom, never put out live. So if you have, if you're fearful of, of you know, or, or just uncomfortable, and not even fearful, just uncomfortable. People don't want to be on. I didn't want to be on for years before I, I started doing this. So um, this Tree of Life one is going to offer the opportunity for you to come and be a part of the community and sew with us and be comfortable and have a really good time and make some really good friends and laugh till your face hurts and your belly hurts because we have a really good time. Let's see. Hi, Denise. Oh, thank you, Terry. I appreciate that. Oh, wait, no, wait, hold on. I got confused. <laughs> uh, so, Terry, good to hear that it, it came in. Terry, I'm excited that you're doing Autumn Shades. Ingrid, I appreciate you putting <laughs> your email in. Hey, Steven, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Oh, you guys, Denise is here. I want to show you guys what I got in the mail on, it might have been, fr was it Friday or Saturday? My days are mushing together. But real quick, I want to show you what Denise sent. 
Uh, so I have, for folks that have been here for a while, probably already know this, I have a, a deep and uh, uh, abiding love for my animals, uh, for my cats and my pups. And so Denise made this awesome pen with the little paw prints. It's so cute. I love it so much. Look at that. And the pen is, is this one a twist too? Yeah, so it twists open. And then, hi, Catherine Bonita, good morning. Hi, Mozilla. Hey, Cat. Oh, from Germany, welcome. Oh, so Tara, you didn't come, oh. Well, hopefully it'll be here by this Friday because we're gonna do that, that sew together. Um, on Friday. And so we're hoping everybody gets theirs by then. Um, and now this, this one really gets me. This is, look at this. <laughs> it is the cheetah pen. And for folks that have been to the nut house, <laughs> which way? Oh, here we go. The nut house in Pennsylvania will know that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's a group of five of us who are a little bit wacky and call ourselves the Cheetah Suckas because there's a whole story behind it that it does actually involve Cheetos. Um, but this made my heart so happy when I opened this and I saw this one. So these two are awesome. And Denise will be uh, making these pens available at a location near you very soon. So I'm excited to hear that. Uh-oh. I got some pop-ups on my laptop that are blocking uh, the chat. Aren't those fun? They are so fun. And how she sends them, they're extra pen nibs, so I will have a chance to switch them out. So adorable. I love it so much. So I wanted to, to publicly show everybody what Denise is up to and to thank her so much for the amazing pens. Oh, Jackie's Tree of Life came yesterday. Awesome. Oh, it went on a walkabout, Jackie. It just it just got sent on a little bit of a vacation. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, now Ingrid's going to talk about the cruise, which is so much fun. And I'm so excited about the, the cruise that they're going on. All right, I'm going to move some things around so we can get going on this bag. <sighs> For those of you that are new, I want to welcome you and thank you so much for being here. Uh, I have woken up this morning to very amazing YouTube numbers, which just blows my mind. So if you're new, thank you so much for joining. If you haven't like taken the dive yet and hit subscribe, I hope that as you join us more, uh, and you like what we're doing and you feel a part of the family that you will go ahead and, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Uh, my friends, uh, Steven just reached 10,000. We were just in his bash yesterday. That is not a reason, just because he's reached that number, it's not a reason for you not to go and subscribe to him as well. He is the uh, bland design and the idiot quilter that you'll see in the chat here. Um, and then we have another celebration to come up with my dear friend, Stephanie of Quilting with Stephanie Stitches. She just hit 20,000 and these are so, such amazing accomplishments and such testaments to both Steven and Stephanie's like commitment to, to being here and, and helping folks and talk about and teach everything that they're learning in this world. I mean, St Stephanie writes patterns, now Steven's writing patterns. Uh, he talks about embroidery, which, which now makes me want an embroidery machine where I did, had not won one, one before. Um, so there are, they are two really great sources of information, really great teachers. Uh, a riot to listen to. Stephen and Walter will be on later today at 4 o'clock live. You should check them out if you, if you don't already. Um, I am super, super geeking out about how close I am to 1,000 and my mind cannot fully register it other than I'm geeking out completely. <laughs> it's it's wild. And then my friend Russ, who is here, uh, Quilt Meets World, you'll see him. He's also a moderator here, so he's got the little blue wrench like Ingrid does, um, is getting super close to a thousand two. Like he's like at uh, like 931 or something like that. I, I, okay, I try to remember numbers. Sometimes I'm not so good at it, but we're both 
super close to a thousand. And that's like the, the first milestone, I guess, of, of YouTube. Um, not, not the end all be all of why I'm here and why I'm doing it, but it, it's just a nice little kind of recognition that, um, you know, I'm, I'm like vibing with people. <laughs> people are enjoying what I'm, I'm doing. And, and if it was four people and it was just the Tita Suckers, I would still love coming on here and, and doing all of this and, and hanging out with everybody. But it's kind of neat to, to get to that milestone and, and have so many people in a community, uh, that I, I just love to be around. So I'm very excited and super close. Right, the idiot, the idiot quilter you see in the chat. <laughs> it does sound crazy. But he calls himself that. I do not coin him that. <laughs> now, Walter may have other things to say about it, but... <laughs> uh... Oh, cool. Ingrid's putting the information about the crews in here. They have so many. The Stitch in Heaven, right? Stitch in Heaven. I almost called them Stitch in Post, but no. Stitch in Heaven... They have, hi Shirley Evans. I like Evans' uh, last name. That was my maiden name, so I dig that name. Um, uh, the Stitch in Heaven folks have so many cruises and retreats and stuff. They are a, a good time, apparently. They're a lot of fun. When <laughs> me and Russ get to a thousand, we're going to party like it's 1999. Yes, I love it. I will be now singing that song in my head all the rest of the weekend. <laughs> all good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I will uh, switch to the overhead camera to show what's going on here. I think if I do that, it should be cool. Yes. Well, you see these, these colors? I was working on Steven's, uh, the Steven's brand new pattern that he wrote yesterday in these cool uh teals and grays and blacks and uh blue grays and stuff it was a lot of fun it is just fun to like uh, just have know that <laughs> sometimes people think that y you might be you might have something fun to say <laughs> and want to be there with you you're right, Terry. Hi, LQ3 Quilter. Well, I have to write down your name, LQ3. I, I, unless you want to go by LQ3, which I'm totally cool with. Hi, Candice. Good morning. All right. So uh, all I did was take the... Um, so I'm, I'm doing this in Pokemon Fabrics for Lauren. They're, the pink is going to be the inside. The... Uh, black with all of the dots of of Pokemon is going to be the outside. They're both kind of they're tosses. They're large tosses, but they're tosses. So there's no directionality. I'm not. I don't have to worry about where, uh, you know, one one way or the other. If uh, that had been a thing, I would have just cut it. Um, cut the this. Hold on a second. I will hold it up. Uh, and I will do this. Yeah, I would have just cut it in half here and sewn it together so that the panel would have been directionally, like the, the direction would have gone the right way on both. But it's it's just tosses, so it doesn't matter. I, I did not have to do that because it they're going to be the right way no matter which way you look at it. Uh, and then I tried my hand at... Uh, using bias tape that I had to make handles. Uh, and uh, I will say that I'm glad that this is for my kid and not for sale for anybody. <laughs> because I tried the little uh, foot, the little skinny like roll foot for the edge, of, ooh, this way, for the edge of the um, binding to kind of enclose it. And I'm not good at, at that rolled hem foot, and it, it's a wavy hot mess, but whatever. It'll work as handles, so that's what I'm going with. Um, oh, LQ3. Lori! Oh, good! Hey, Lori! Okay, awesome! 
did I know that? See, sometimes I'll learn the name, and if I don't write it down, which I'm going to do right now, because I will say, if I don't write it down, I'll forget, and then I will. Um, if I don't write it down, I'll forget. And I have a bunch of folks' names in here written. <laughs> so, and I write, you'll see I like write it a couple of times to try to get it in my head. So, LQ3 is Lori. Okay, awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ooh, Fallon, that sounds fantastic. Cheers and happy Sunday brunch. Yeah, that rolled hem foot was a challenge. It just, it kept on coming out. I was using the stiletto part of my um, uh, ripper. I was trying to use the stiletto part and sometimes it would work and then it would slip. It was more trouble than it was worth. I'm, I'm like, I, I think I won't do it that way again. Um, but it's done and it's good to go. So it'll make a bag. Uh, I learned uh, this bag process. Uh, there are plenty of secrets in that notebook that I will not be sharing. <laughs> some sketches of some things and some dates of some things that are for my eyes only. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to check real fast who I want to make sure that I'm giving proper credit to who I learned this from. And again, I will go back in the in the description and credit them. So they are called uh, Gia, possibly. Oops, turn off the sound. J I A dot sewing. And it was on Instagram that I found them on Reels. And uh, I really like watching folks from different countries construct the different things that they sew because they often do it differently than I've seen here in the States or maybe in Canada. Um, they, they just have a different, or they've been like a production sewist. So they do things really uh, economic, very economically sound with their movements and the steps that it takes to do things. Uh, and so I'm fascinated with watching them. And so a couple weeks ago, I made those little uh, envelopes out of fabric from watching the woman in, I still don't know if she's Port if in Portugal, if she's in Brazil, but she's Portuguese. She speaks Portuguese. Um, so she may be Brazilian, but she could be Portuguese. So she speaks Portuguese. Anyway, um, I think the Gia Soist, I think she's out of Japan. I'm not 100% sure because... I'm a dumb American and I can't tell dialect. So there's that. Uh, but I'm really enjoying like scrolling through these reels and looking at the different ways that different places are putting things together. It fascinates me. So that's what this is going to be. It's going to be a lot of fun doing this. Hey, Marianne. Ooh, breakfast pizza. Fun. That sounds a lot of fun, pa Paula. I like that a lot. Oh, Matthew. Oh, well, let me say that. That's that's a really good uh, point, uh, Math Geek. Everybody here. Oh, my God, Ingrid. It's like we have the same brain. She's on top of it. Everybody with the channel, because I stink at remembering to put your names in, please feel free to do anybody with a channel that they want people to come subscribe to them. If you don't want people to come subscribe to you, don't do this. Uh, but if you want people to come subscribe to you, do hashtag, not hashtag, exclamation mark, selfie. Selfie's all lowercase and it's, it's like one word. So exclamation mark, no spaces, exclamation mark, selfie. Uh, and then your link will pop up and then folks can go right to your link from here. Uh, it was just easier for me because I, could not remember to to put people in to Nightbot with their name like exclamation mark so like Stephanie and Steven are in here because they were like my first crew of of channels to shout out and so uh, of course I remembered them but then it got harder to remember <laughs> so I I made I created the uh, exclamation mark selfie and that one works Lots of matzah. I like that. 
Okay, so uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I have the handles, the poor bias tape handles uh, inside. I'm gonna sew all the way around except for, um, I don't know, probably like three inches to turn it all out. And then that's when the fun like construction part starts of how they put this bag together. So I'm excited about it. So I'm just gonna start sewing. This is just normal sew around the edges. Um, for this, I actually am going up into a, a larger uh, stitch. I think I'm at two and a half, or eh, it's hard to tell on the Juki TL stuff because it's like the dial. It might not be two and a half. It could be like whatever, whatever between two and a half and two is on a Juki. That's what the, it is, like 2.2 maybe. Um, so it's up a little bit. I'm usually at a one eight, but I'm, I'm, I'm upping it a little bit. Uh, French toast with peanut butter and maple syrup. That sounds lovely. I, okay. Art honey. That's good. I will have to remember that. I love watching the way folks do stuff. It, it gives me ideas, uh, which you know, I like to riff on, like I'm using bias tape as the handles instead of just fabric. Um, yeah, I like to, to see how other folks are doing things. All right. If this gets too loud, let me know. When I get to the handle placement, I'm going to go forward and backwards a couple of times just to really make sure it's secure in between the layers because uh, it's going to be thrown on a shoulder for sure. And I want to make sure that it is a strong connection point. So front, back, front. And back again, just for good measure. There we go. And then when I flip it inside out, I'll uh, put a, a finishing stitch on the top. Um, so it, that'll add another layer of stability to it. I need to win the lottery so I can have all kinds of uh, camera angles because this is this has got to be dreadfully boring. Just seeing the bag <laughs> laying here, <laughs> waiting for something to be done to it. Hi, Jeannie, how are you? Yeah, thank you. That worked out well. All right. Oh, really? So, I don't know. You can see I just went back and forth a couple times over where that's going to be. I'll go ahead and trim this off. Darn, gonna have to go to the sewing, <laughs> to the quilt store. Oh, that's tragic. <laughs> Said no quilter ever.
Oh, I was at uh, Stevens 10,000 Bash yesterday, and that's where I was working on his first ever written pattern, uh, and it's called When Stars Collide, and I got, I was, I was trying so hard. I wanted to get the top finished and make sure that I could at least show that. I didn't get the, the borders or anything like that, but I wanted to get the top finished, and I was very excited to have gotten that done. And then hung it up very proudly behind me uh, during my live with Stephanie last night when we were talking about all the stuff. And as as we got off and I was looking at it, I realized there's something wrong. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't have my version of Walter here, one of my two children, to be like, oh, what's up with that? So I didn't see it until uh, it was hanging up, you know hanging behind me very proudly, so excited about the colors. <laughs> I was like, oh, buggers. I just had uh, a couple of the half square triangles turned wrong, so it didn't make the diamond that it was supposed to make on one side. All the other sides were fine. I just had done it. I flubbed them on one side, so I just have to, which is, it's okay though, because it's right at like the main seam where I joined both halves together. I didn't do it in rows, I did it in quadrants and then join the halves together. So it's right there. I'll just be able to take them out, flip them around, and it'll be all good. But I'm like, dang it. I was moving too fast. Oh, anything tangled. That's just, uh... <laughs> uh, Math Geek, I like that. Can't find intentionally misplaced for gross. Walter did not notice. Sweet. <laughs> and welcome to your world. <laughs> well, I'm... I'm I'm glad to have uh, snuck past the Walter sniff test, though I really do think he saves his most uh, close inspection for Steven. <laughs> <laughs> the puppy is very excited. You can hear her back there talking with her toy in her mouth. She likes to yell <laughs> with her toy in her mouth. I hope to think that it's it's her saying, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see you. There's no telling what she's actually saying. <laughs> what is everybody working on out there? Russ just found out that he can't do the board or the binding that he wanted to do. Oh, you want to do it now? Yeah. Hello, Siberian. Uh-oh. I think I must sneeze. Hi, Siberian wind. Yes, <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Your feelings are, are different. <laughs> Wasn't it fantastic? Uh, if you have not, there is a Facebook group called Together We Sew, and Charlotte posted her beautiful, the colors, Philippa used amazing colors. Folks were using great, great 
uh, I don't know if they were all the same brand or fat, you know, designer or whatever, but the colors that everybody was choosing was amazing. So, uh, if you wanted to check out some of those pictures, uh, it is Together We Sew on Facebook. Now, I know not everybody does Facebook, but that's definitely a spot where if you wanted to share your works, and it doesn't even have to be what we're working on or like a group of people are working on at the same time because that just me means that you're an enabler for us which we love and we want to see what you're working on so that we might be able to do it too <laughs> oh getting ready for your live today yes i like it good morning stephanie Oh, thank you, Ingrid. You're a rock star. So yes, the uh, web, the web page, the Facebook page that that Ingrid just shared is Together We Sew. That's uh, Stephanie's retreat name. The name of the company for the retreats is Together We Sew Retreats, and the web page or the Facebook page is Together We Sew. And you don't have to have been to a retreat. Uh, you could just be coveting <laughs> coming to a retreat, but we uh, all are all there sharing all the different projects we're working on, and we like to get very excited for each other <laughs> and what we're working on. All right, so I gotta get through these handles, and then I have to remember on the other side to leave a turnout spot. I'm not always so good about that. <laughs> a mixture of fat quarters. Excellent job. That was amazing. All right, forward, backward, forward, back again. Maybe I'll do the turnout spot right here in between the handles. She doesn't do that in the video, but I like to change things up. And I wonder, because then I can just close it when I close when I do the top stitching on the handle sides. I think I'm gonna do that. I like to call an audible sometimes and just change things up. So I think that's where I'm gonna put it. Now May I find out there's a reason why she did it on the side and not in between the handles? Yes, I could find out that there's a reason why she specifically did that. We're going to find out together. making a bag yes uh, I saw this pattern or well not really a pattern she just kind of gives the instructions on her I saw it on Instagram that's uh, where I like to like go and watch uh, all the different reels because they're fast <laughs> um, and so it's Gia I think it might be Jaya J I a dot sewist uh, or sewing. Now I can't remember. I just looked it up and now, of course, it has escaped me. Um, but I saw it and I was talking earlier. I, I just love to see all of the different ways that like different people, different cultures or different, like if they have been a production sewist, they often have some amazing ideas on how to make things easier to sew. Um, so this is, I saw this bag on her Instagram and then found out that she does have a YouTube. So I will be trolling her YouTube for the bags. She has several different like, um, bag tutorials, some, some other things. 
Uh, there's a zippered bag one I want to watch to see how she does that because I am no bueno at zippers. So, hey, bub. Oh, Charlotte, that's awesome. Russ, did you hear that? Charlotte was using triangulations and AccuQuilt. I love my AccuQuilt so much. Ah, I just unthreaded my machine. <clears throat> I'm getting better about not trying to cut my thread while the machine's still moving, but sometimes I still do it. And then it, it, it comes unthreaded when I do that. All right, so now I know I don't have to worry about the turnout spot because it's already up there. For those of you that are excited about it, I am one that is extremely excited about it, uh, what are your plans for the Super Bowl today? Are you going to a party? Are you having a party at your place? Are you just chilling and watching it? Do you watch it for the football? Do you watch it for the commercials? Do you watch it for the halftime show? Uh, Reba McIntyre is singing uh, Star Spangled Banner, I believe. I love her so very much, so I'm excited to see her. Go cheese. I asked my son about that yesterday. He's actually rooting for the Niners. I have a cousin who is very much a Niners fan. Um, I'm, I don't, I don't have a horse in the game. I just, if, if it's sports, I'm watching it. Um, so I don't really care either way. Um, when I played sports, I was, or if, if it's a competition that I'm involved in, I, I'm, you know, uh, very much. Her, yay, let's win. But now, even though these are grown men playing this game, a lot of them are grown men. Some of them are still, like, in their 20s, but, um, That's I'm a grown man. Well, no, I mean, like, some, like, right out of college, to me, they're still kids, because they're, like, my, my kids' age, so they're still kids. But I still, I, like, I'm, like, yay for the winner, and I feel, oh, it's so bad for the one that loses. <laughs> I'm such a mom about it now. <laughs> Where when I was playing the sport, I was, like, kill a ball! <laughs> But, oh well, I guess I've mellowed as I've gotten older. I just know how much work goes into it, um, and the dedication to be a, an athlete at that level is insane, and to to come away not winning is it's painful he's cheering for the Niners Fallon and that's cool oh that's perfect the Siberian wind um, if you want to do hashtag selfie um, so that people will get your uh, YouTube channel for the Siberian Wind. All right, girls. Um, <clears throat> it'll actually pop up a link right for you. Uh, if you are not interested in the game, the game starts at 2.30, I think, uh, Eastern. We have uh, Steven and Walter are going to be on at 4 p.m. Eastern. And then... Siberian Wind will be on at some point. Um, so there are some options for not having to watch, <laughs> not having to watch the game, to do something else.
Okay, so I've gone all the way around, but I left the gap somewhere on one of the oh, other side uh, in between the handles up here to turn it out. Got all, all the way around. I'm going to clip the corners, um, you know, not not cutting the, the thread, but clip the corners and then turn it out. Then I'll top stitch um, at the at the uh, handles on that side. So just clip in the corner. Be very careful not to go down. So I sewed, eh, let's go this way, you know, off and started off so that I have that little rectangular section. So that's where I'm clipping and just not going into the stitches that are joined that will keep it closed. And then, clip there, clip there. Now this bag is longer than the one that, I'm just gonna call her Gia because I don't know what else to call her at this point. Um, Gia Sois. It's longer because I uh, wanted to, to provide more space uh, for carrying things. And my handles are longer than what she does in her video. But I don't, you know, it's for what you're working on. Oh, thanks, Lori. Oh, what did I miss? Okay. Oh, <laughs> pretend doggy, pretend doggy. Sorry. Sorry about that, Brenda. Oh, there we go. Siberian Wind got their channel up there. But Russ is saying, I just saw my antenna isn't working right now. Oh, oh yeah, the AC incident of 2023. Oh, I missed I missed some info uh, some talk about someone with COVID. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Did I say the the Super Bowl starts at 2.30? The coverage starts at 2.30 on CBS. The game is like at 6. Wait, Lauren, before you go away, are you are you are you good with this? With the this pink going on the inside? And the black on the outside? Yeah. Nice. Alright. Oh, George is looking for the cat. <laughs> oh, yes, Lori, we are in Eastern time zone. So we are, uh, so it is 11.49 a.m. here for me right now. Hey, Lydia. Good morning. Hi, Catherine. <laughs> yeah, the pup's do like to make a fuss and a racket, so you may hear, or it may get your doggos. And usually one of the cats will make an appearance on the table. Uh, so if they're, if your dogs are watching, they may, may be interested in what the cats are doing. Now I gotta get all the way down to the bad part about this being longer is getting all the way down to turn out these other corners. Oh, Tina, that's good to hear. Um, I feel
feel like yes, and now I can't remember what it is. Evan, what's Lauren's favorite Pokemon? Gengar. Gengar. There we go. I know that there is a plush upstairs in their bedroom. <laughs> I just don't, don't remember the names. Which I don't think that dude is on here. Corners are all out nice and neat. Yeah, my animals are a big part of, of the show because they're always here in the living room. I'm in a, a little like nook area of the living room, dining room section because um, I was getting so alone, feeling so alone upstairs. Uh, so they are here and often making noises. Hi, Melissa. Oh, fun. Listening while you drive. Uh, Ludicolo? Okay, I don't know which one that is. You're gonna have to tell me what, what that one does. So now I'm going to top stitch up here along the line, you know, and then I'm going to, um, I don't think because of all the back stitching I did on the inside, I don't think I'm going to back stitch on the top. So it'll be just a straight, like clean line. Um, but I'll test the strength of that and, and then may come back and do a little bit more um, and then I will iron out the sides and then I will do the fun like origami of what <laughs> of what she did to finish off the bag I'm gonna bump it up to like three and a half. And let her go. Just gotta. I gotta be careful of the handles. I don't want them to end up underneath the needle. Would be devastating. There we go. Yes, they are the special guests. <laughs> Sometimes I'm the special guests that I wish had stayed in their rooms <laughs> so I can get some work done. Oh, Candace, every time. <laughs> oh, no, locks himself in rooms. Or... That's funny. We have um, Record Scratch, which is the sister to the three, the three brothers. Uh, she, if there is a door that is closed will sit outside of it and yell because she is sure it is closed because there is someone in there and they are having fun without her. So she will, you will hear her yelling sometimes on my lives or maybe on the podcast, uh, yelling at the bathroom door if one of like the dogs or whatever cl closes it or, you know, whatever. Um, she will just sit outside of it, yelling at it, expressing her displeasure. Because she's spoiled. Alright. There we 
to go. So yeah, I think that's I think that's good. I think it will be good with all the back stitching and the shorter stitch length I did um, before flipping it out. I think I think we'll be all right with that. And if as it's being used, we find out that's not the case, I will make adjustments. Is anybody making snacks for the game? If you're doing anything for the game, is anybody making snacks for the game? I will never not be a fan of pigs in the blanket. <laughs> well, that's, I'm good with that. If that's, the, if that's the only snack that's being brought, I'm good. Evan made something for the party he's going to. I think it's a like a pepperoni pizza dip thing, which is cool. Should have ironed the open gap, but that's all right. I'll just put some some magic clips on that guy right now. There we go. Now I gotta get the rest of the magic clips out of the way so I don't knock them all over the place. My magic clips live in my little gnome uh, pin cushion. Here we go. Uh, this way. There we go. Gnome pin cushion and magic clip holder. <laughs> Love this guy. He's so cute. This was made by Steven, who is one of the extremely generous gifts that Steven provided when he came down, he and Walter came down to Georgia, which makes me now laugh saying it that way, uh, for the uh, Together We Sew retreat that was in Georgia, the New Year's Eve retreat. Uh, and that was one of the gifts he provided, which was so amazing and so adorable. I don't think... No, the view around above my head isn't high enough. I have a few more Steven. Oh, well, you can see a little bit of one of the 3D printed amazing uh, one of the, why am I trying to say products? One of the, I'm not, mm, <laughs> yeah, I guess product, finished product that he makes on 3D printers which is also an enabling thing that <laughs> I'm like, oh, I want a 3D printer now too. This is cool. I don't need a 3D printer. I would spend the money for no freaking reason <laughs> just because my friend has one. Now I want one too. <laughs> Pigs in a blanket. Yeah. Oh, buffalo chicken dip. Also, a very good choice. That's a must-have. Oh, barbecue little smokies. Those are fun. Ooh, fan is going. Big time. Oh, I love that. I love the slow cooker. Um, or, like, uh, the pressure cooker doing... Uh, pot roast and veggies in the pressure cooker. Oh, that was a childhood favorite of mine. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Math Geek. Math Geek Zan had a pokey, uh, a Pikachu alarm clock because it was the loudest one he could find. I love that. That's funny. All right, I gotta turn on my iron because we've got the top stitch so we got the top closed up and caught the whole thing yes we did excellent so that is happy I'm gonna iron the sides 
so that they are meeting nicely. We want, want to be able to not have any roll over. And then this is where the, the fun begins with the construction that she does. So I'm excited. I'm excited about it. We'll see if I do it right. Oh, sorry. Just jammed the, the camera. Um, yeah, we'll see if, if I do it right. We'll see if watching it obsessively like 17 times before going on live today helped. Can I name all of these guys? Bulbasaur, right? Squirtle, Charizard, Pikachu. I think that's all that are on this side. That's Eevee. Probably, possibly. You'd think I would know more. I had such a good time during the pandemic going and playing Pokemon Go with the kids. You'd think I would like remember these names better, but nope, I'm horrible. So, uh, I don't know why I I'm horrible with human beings names. I don't know why I think I would be better at, uh, game character names. <laughs> Whatever your husband makes. <laughs> Uh, no, this is a different person that did the little, than did the envelopes. Uh, that was stitch by stitch, but stitch by stitch in Portuguese, which is Paseo e Paseo, I think. Uh, and this is G, uh, J I A dot Soist did this bag. Um, so different, different one, but found the same way scrolling through Instagram until I saw something that was cool and different caught my eye. Whenever I can't go to sleep, usually after a crappy day at work, I will scroll the webs And I love like the reels and the shorts because they're, they're short. So this is the tedious part of making that if I was doing this just as a video, I would like speed through so you guys wouldn't be bored. <laughs> but on lives, you get to be bored. Do you all like me making bags? Have, do, have you made bags? I know uh, Biani is a really popular bag company, uh, Sally Tomato, So Sweetness. I love So Sweetness. I, I've, I've really enjoyed watching her videos and the bags that she makes. And I have a lot of the patterns and I haven't made them yet. Hi, Brenda. Yes. Okay. Let me see. There are so many characters. <laughs> so many characters. 
So many characters. Okay, let me let me go back and I will see if do, do, do. I'll see if her oh J I A dot sewing on Instagram. Now let me see what she is and on YouTube. Here we go. Uh-huh. On YouTube, she's at So, that is on YouTube. Oh, let me do the here. I'll also do the So it'll actually link to her. Because, there we go. I will add it into the description afterwards. Um, should have done that this morning, but did not. You gotta be in the mood to make them, yeah. This one is gonna be a quick one, so I'm excited about that. I did bring down some other fabric to um, try out a directional pattern where I will have to cut it in half and then um, put the panels together. Um, I think that one is gonna be fun. And I just thought, I mean, I'm making bags, why not make another one? I've made a, a good number of bags um, and I have worked with with the zippers a few times like we've done a couple of projects at uh, retreats with Stephanie uh, that have involved zippers um, and I I winged a bag a little you know boxy pouch with a zipper at the Georgia retreat over the New Year's holiday uh, I'm just not like how people like do the inset zippers in bags it fascinates me good morning Laura Lynn sure Charlotte yay three clear vinyl book bags awesome yeah the the clear book bag thing is is new <laughs> that's definitely not anything I had to do when I was in school, but anything for safety, so I'm okay with that. How are you doing today, Laura Lynn? I saw you were you uh, were working on yesterday the rest of your the cute fox jacket. I didn't get to see all of it. you all have not heard of or are gone to mom and pop quilt shop one what rock are you living under <laughs> just kidding just kidding YouTube is a vast vast land of creators so not hearing of somebody is not shocking but you should absolutely go check out Laura Lynn and family mom and pop It was cute to begin with, like start to finish, super cute. I know you were saying that uh, the little one, you know, kids have their own opinions. I hope, I hope she does end up enjoying it. All right. All right. So next, now I got to think this through because there's folding and sewing involved. 
and I got to think it through of which side I'm doing that on. Am I doing it? Okay, so if I do it this way, and then fold it back out, and then sew this together, then I turn it out, and then the outside will be on the inside. So, no, I want to do it this way. Okay, so. I'm going to fold this over an inch, maybe an inch and a half. She did centimeters. I don't know centimeters. Oh, good. Okay, Brenda, awesome. Uh, so the ba the bag I'm doing, I think is tips number tip number sixty eight, the DIY tip number sixty eight. I think is this one. Um, so okay, I want to make sure I go to. What is that? An inch and a quarter? I feel like an inch and a half is too big. So I'm going to do an inch and a quarter and I'm going to iron down an inch and a quarter and then I'm going to sew along the, oh, maybe, maybe an inch and a half. Okay. I'm going an inch and a half. Oh, the mind of madness. Apologies. All right, I'll do an inch and a half. I wish I had, I do have one of those hot iron rulers, which would really come in handy right now, but I don't know where that bugger is. So, That that's an inch and a half. There. Well, then we were talking about shouting out your own um, YouTube channel. If you wanted to do that, you could do hashtag. Nope, I keep saying hashtag. It's exclamation mark, selfie, or if Ingrid or Russ wanted to pop your YouTube channel in the chat, that would be awesome. And was it really 30 hours? Wow, that is a labor of love. This is the tedious part, but it's got to be done for this construction, which I'm excited about. This is totally different than anything I've done in bag making land. Well, I'm excited to do it. Now that I've wonder clipped this down, I don't know that I'm even going to go iron it because that, that'll just be a an added layer of frustration. Let me just use the wonder clips to hold it in place and well, I'll leave it like that. Now I need to, to find my hot ruler thing back when I thought I was going to make all my clothing. <laughs> How silly. Had it in my head that I would make all my clothing and then I realized how expensive 
fabric was and said, maybe not. Maybe that's not going to be for me. I sew down this edge, and I do it on the other side too, so it's going to be boring on that side too. There we go. Oh, I am going to shorten my stitch length though for this. So back down to like 2.2. I'm just doing it at a quarter inch for this like bevel I'm not sure Is everybody enjoying each night? It gets a little lighter a little later each each evening. Makes me so happy. I mean, I know it happens every year, but again, it just makes me happy. Gaining a little bit more sunlight. I know there's like specific, you know, number of minutes each day we gain, but um, I'm just happy to see it happening as, over the course of days and weeks. And with how warm it's been, I'm going to be offended if it snows again. Offended. <laughs> like Laura Lynn up in, can in, can in Canada. Uh, I know that it is still snowy and ooky. Ooky cold. But I don't want to see any more snow here. My bag handle got caught on my knee lifter. So we got that side done. Just a little edge. And all the way down. And I'm going to do the other side. Hopefully I'll move faster now that I know that that's how I'm doing it. I will pound through this a little faster. But we are almost done. We are so extremely close to being done. If Stephanie's still on, I wonder, are they, is Ohio set for any crazy weather? I know Maryland has gotten snow into April, um, which is just highly disrespectful of Mother Nature, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but being on the, on the lake, I wonder how they, they usually see snow. And yeah, you just got five feet. <gasps> oh, on your birthday? That's cool, Charlotte. That's awesome. Are they ever going to, like, actually pull the 
plug, make the decision that we're not changing the clocks anymore? Is that going to be an actual thing? Like, I, if they're going to do it, I just want them to do it. Like, just man up and do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ready to be complaining about how hot it is. I I really feel like we've we've had a very mild winter. Now, could I be thinking that because I work from home and play from home <laughs> doing doing all of this, so I'm not really outside all that much? Possibly. I could be, uh, you know, remembering the, this winter favorably, potentially. But it just doesn't feel like it's been that rough a winter. Thankful that that is the case. I really want to live somewhere where it's the Mediterranean climate. Where it's like 75 all the time. <laughs> all right, machine. know if you heard that scary pop sound but it scared me and it was just one of the uh binding clips the magic clips clinking up against the table catching i don't like hearing weird noises when my machine is running <laughs> ready to birth this bag. So, um, making the opening in between the handles didn't hurt anything. Me deciding to do it that way did not hurt anything or change anything up. It worked just fine. So, um, I think I would do that again, like with remaking this, I would do the same put the, the gap in between the handles because you're going to close that up when you do the cover, the, you know, uh, not cover stitch, but the um, top stitch. You're going to close it there. Uh, that way I didn't have to come back and like do a stitch. This is, this edge is nice and clean. Um, whoop, this way. I didn't have to come back and like stitch it down. 
top stitching for the tops took care of that. So I think that that was an okay change for me to make. All right, so now we have these sewn into the sides here, nope, here. Now I'm gonna bring both sides up. And so I'm gonna bring them up so that they meet and that looks pretty good. Here where the, the little, I don't know, ed edge we added to it, where this meets, then I'm gonna sew these two sides together all the way down at a quarter of an inch. We're gonna box the ends, we'll box these corners turn it inside out and we are done. That is it. There's no lining to this bag. It's just the two pieces of, of quilting cotton. Um, you could, if you wanted to make it a little sturdier, if you wanted to throw in some like the Pellon, like the t-shirt stuff, stabilizer stuff. Um, you could totally do that. Uh, it's, it's not meant to like, you know, it doesn't need to stand up when it's, when it's put down. So I'm not, I'm not worried about it being on the more stable side, the stiffer side. This is just fine. I wanted this to be deep, but I think if I did it again, I would use a different cut of fabric so that I did have a little bit more length to the depth as well. Uh, but the bag that Lauren has been stealing has been just a, a skinny tote. So that's why I, I just went with this size. Um, but I think for in, in the future, if I do this again, and I feel like I will because it's been super easy. Um, I might, I may make it a little, add a little width to its depth. Right. Just making sure we're meeting up even on the bottom and so far we are. So that's good. That makes me happy. doing good on time. I love doing box boxed corners, so that'll be fun to do next. Uh, and the way that we did this, turning it inside, like turning it out and having the, uh, these edges be, um, like closed. So this being on the inside of the bag, it doesn't need to be a bound edge and it, it's not going to look bad because it, it would be raw and fraying. It's enclosed, so that's not going to be a problem at all. Yes, I, <laughs> I am making a bag. Uh, I'm sacrificing some fabric to a bag so that I save my own bag. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I think it looks pretty cool. It's going to be fun. I think I did do what I was worried I was going to do. I did it opposite. Um, so the pink will be on the outside, but I'm, I'm okay with that. It's fine. Um, but if you are concerned about that with yours, uh, I didn't think it through right in my head. I should have uh, folded it so that the pink was on the outside and then put it together like this. Um, but all good. All right, side 
then we'll box these corners. Oop, sorry again. Jeez, I keep hitting the camera. Really need to start playing the lottery. It's the only way I'm going to be able to win it. It is if I play it. Funny how those things work, right? You gotta, like, do the thing to win the thing. That'd be awesome. Okay, Siberian Wind. That would be super cool. Because I am not good. It, for me, it's a... Um, because it doesn't... <laughs> I'm, I'm bad this way, but if it doesn't come to me, like, immediately, like, if it doesn't click immediately, I'll get frustrated, and then I just move too fast, and I, I end up disappointed in my zippers, like, every single time, because, well, I get frustrated, move too fast, and then it looks sloppy and messy, and then I'm mad, and... All right, so we got both sides together. Now we are going to box these corners. Now when she did it, it looked super easy. So let's see if I can make it look super easy. Like this. This a little bit. And is that, I'm gonna make sure it is even on both sides. So that's the bottom. Make sure that meets up there. And then, where my little guy go? Here we go. I'm gonna do. Right across where the seams on both sides meet. So that's what, what is that? One, two and a half. Oh, that's good, two and a half. I like that. All right, just gonna go ahead and do that while I've got it here. So there we go, little two and a half inch little box corner. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Now, she does not cut this off, it just goes into the bottom of the bag, so that's what I'm gonna do as well. Pull this open.
this up. Use my fingernail to flatten it out. There we go. Make sure that it is lined up. bottom seam. That looks pretty good. Okay. I'm make sure we're doing it the same length. So I want to make sure. Yep, two and a half inches. All right, so that, that's good. I love it when a plan comes together. Does everybody know where that's from? I love it when a plan comes together. It's not Elf. <laughs> I do love Elf, though. <laughs> How are you doing, Tammy? And Sherry gets it. It is the A-Team. Yes. All right. So she, again, she left these B when she flipped hers out. So I'm going to do the same thing. And we're going to we're gonna see what it looks like. Oh, maybe I'll take it off of um, the overhead and I'll show it this way. We'll flip it out. Now, could it use a good iron? Absolutely. Will I do that later? Possibly. <laughs> I make no promises, but there's the side seam. Oh, maybe I will go back to overhead. Oh, how fun. So, super long straps to throw over your shoulder, a boxed bottom like that, and super deep so that a couple of nights worth of, of clothes can get layered in here. I am very pleased. I actually kind of like that the pink is on the outside because <laughs> I like Evie. <laughs> so here, I'll go um, overhead to show... Like that's the boxed corner and it gives this cool uh, side edge effect to the bag. I gotta pull this way, there we go. And then it's all, I'll trim these little uh, threads, but it's all enclosed seams. So there's no fraying that's gonna happen on the inside but there we go. I'm stoked. I think it turned out very cute. Long enough handles that Lauren will be able to put this on their shoulder and their computer bag and uh, they'll have their hands free which I'm always really worried about um, just in case there needs to be any fisticuffs. <laughs> uh, but and and deep enough again for a couple of nights of of clothing so that is awesome that was exciting i'm so excited that i got to do that with you guys and that uh i didn't make a fool of myself <laughs> it, it turned out absolutely horrifying it turned out really great so 
yay i hope you go and check her out i did have um thank you guys yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this. We'll just clip off these little tail ends of the threads. You know, honestly, if because these edges are, uh, oh, you know what would be, do you know what would be cool? Let me do this. Uh, because these edges are not raw, I could do like a like iron this out, iron the um, these sides out, and top stitch on top of them, and then this bag could be totally reversible with a cool pink pinstripe on this side. <gasps> Y'all, I think I think I might do that. I think that would be fun to make it completely reversible. And so rather than having this this seam, which way do I need to go? I always do that backwards, I'm so sorry. Rather than having this seam just flopping back and forth, just top stitch right on both sides, right on the edge, like an eight, you know, an eighth of an inch on either side. So it's a pinstripe on the side of the bag. It won't do anything. It'll just look like it, you know, it's a clean uh, seaming on the on this side. I think that'd be cool. And then it's a totally reversible bag. I'm here for it. That's what I'm going to do. I think that'll be so much fun. What do you guys think? Am I wrong? I could be wrong. Sometimes thing, I picture things in my head and that's not how it, how it actually works out. Perfect idea. Okay. Oh, good, 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 good. Yay. Oh, thank you, Ingrid, for, for posting her link again. I, I definitely, you know, I am excited to to see all these things on Instagram and then find out that they're on YouTube. But I definitely want to give uh, credit where credit is due. I would not have known. Oh, but the only thing would be this guy. But I wonder. So this would be flopping around on the outside. I wonder if I could get it, if I could manipulate it on my machine, which I might be able to do. I might be able to go right on the edge, an eighth of an inch on the edge for this, on the outside of the bag, too. I'll have to try it. I'll have to figure it out. Oh, see, Brenda? Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see your comment, but yeah, that that's exactly it. Um, but I think, you know, I'd have to get rid of that chalk. I think that would be all right, right? Because I could finagle it under the machine, so it's just the bottom of the bag. Or, okay, there are worse ideas. Uh, than doing that. I could hand stitch it down and not try to work it under the bag where I might get other pieces of fabric caught up. I could just hand stitch. <gasps> you guys, I think I might hand stitch it down so that this stays on, on the bottom side of the bag. Mm. I think I might do that. I might break out some hand stitching needles, which I know Lauren has because they were doing cross stitch for a while. I think that's what I'll do. Takes care of those. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I could, it wouldn't be horrible, but then folks are saying, oh, just tack it. And that's just, that's just a couple of little, little stitches, not just, you know, hand stitching the whole thing down. That's like, you know, a cross stitch X. Or I could do it up. I like the pink going all the way across. 
Well, awesome. I think that'll be, that'll be cool. Yes. Thank you guys for, for tossing out suggestions and ideas. I think this is going to work out really neat. I think if I can work it to make sure that I don't get any extra fabric, I think just doing, you know, a stay stitch down here on the bottom, just right in, in my machine will be good. Or I'll just grab some needles from Lauren and do it. But yes, then it'll be completely reversible. Then whatever their mood is that day, spicy Charmander day where they're feeling fiery or chill, peaceful, you know, Squirtle, Eevee, cute Pikachu. I can flip it the other way out. Uh, yay! Awesome. There we go. That was so much fun. Ooh, that's fun. That would be cool to put a snap on the end too. That would be that would be kind of cool. Thanks, Stephanie. That was a lot of fun. Thank you all for being here and for all your suggestions and comments. I I I do have a little the thing to make the little snappy um things. That would be fun. And it could add some additional color to it, and that's always a good thing. Um but before we sign off for the day, I want to uh, talk about what's going on for the rest of the week and what fun things that we have in store just myself and what I have in store with uh, friends and all that kind of stuff coming up. Um, oh, a rivet too. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> so many fun ideas. Yay. Okay. Um, so later today, uh, there is both um, Stephen, so Stephen and Walter will be on at 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, and so you'll want to go check them out. That's uh, Bland Designs and the Idiot Quilter here uh, on YouTube. If you do exclamation mark Stephen, he should come up. All good. Um, and then uh, the Siberian Wind was saying that she's going to be on later during the actual game itself. So like the six o'clock range, if I can remember the comment from earlier today. Uh, so that you could check out as well today. It's something to do if you are not into the whole game thing or multitask and do both, which I will probably do. <laughs> uh, later, uh, oh, so tomorrow is the last of... Fort Worth Fabrics, so Stephanie will have that on her channel, Quilting with Stephanie Stitches, exclamation mark Stephanie, um, I because I almost said hashtag, exclamation mark Stephanie, and then Wednesday, Wednesday during the day, Stephen and Stephanie have their sew, uh, all day sew until like four o'clock in the afternoon, but Wednesday night, we have the second episode of The Social Review, which is where the five of us get together. So Stephanie of Quilting with Stephanie Stitches, Stephen and Walter of Bland Designs and the Idiot Quilter, Russ of Quilt Meets World, and myself here with Slay Arts. We get together at 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, one Wednesday a month. And so this coming up Wednesday, which is Valentine's Day, um, it's a good way to hang out with your favorite Valentines, us. Yay! Uh, and we're going to bring projects that mean something to us. One, two, three, whatever. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. And then we want to hear from you all things that you might want to hear either specifically from one of us or like collectively as the group. You can ask us questions. That's a lot of fun. We've done it one time, but this is based off of us having a really good time together down in Georgia at that retreat. And we did our lives all together and it was just like a really good vibe. So we wanted to keep that alive and we decided to do, actually uh, Walter named this uh, the social review because he was doing all the searching and it was like the name that wasn't used. <laughs> we went through a litany of names, uh, but they'd been, they'd been used. So the social review is our name of our little chat. I hope you come and see us do that Wednesday night. Thursday morning will be my podcast because I think things will be good to go and work, you know, the nine to five won't be in my way, uh, draining my very soul 
during the week. Um, so that'll be Thursday morning. That's always 8 a.m. Eastern. Uh, Friday night is the Tree of Life. The first, so it's Clue 1, Friday night. This is a private Zoom. So if you are doing Tree of Life and you would like to join us, you're going to want to email Ingrid. Um, if she, Ingrid's put her uh, email in the chat, but it's been a little while. Um, I will, when I add the... Uh, website to who gave me the um, idea for the bag and did the the tutorial for it I'll put that in I'll I will um, my email should be in there email me if you want to be a part of the uh, tree of life because I just don't want to put Ingrid's email out there just for anybody to see just in the description because that's just not for everybody to have. So <laughs> uh, email me and I'll make sure you get on the list if you want to join us Friday night. Again, private Zoom. You don't have, you'll never be on a live or out in there for, out in the world for other people to see. It's just us to hang out for Tree of Life, Clue One. Uh, then Saturday is, uh, I know Stephanie is doing her pandas on her channel. Sunday will be brunch again with me. Um, and then we are going, Stephanie, Ingrid, and I, a girl's trip down to QuiltCon. So if you're going to be out at QuiltCon, um, we're going to be there the first couple of days. If you see us, we're not doing like an official meetup. Um, but if you see us, definitely come say hello but let us know who you are <laughs> because you get to see our faces, but we don't necessarily get to see your faces. Uh, so give us a heads up, like what your YouTube handle is and who you are in real life. Um, we would love to say hello and to, to meet everybody. Um, but we're not doing like an official, uh, like meet and greet. I don't know. It's just so weird. So weird to me <laughs> to, to have the need for a meet and greet, but we just decided that we were going to, um, it's Ingrid and my first time at any kind of quilt show, and it's Stephanie's first time at Quilt Con. Um, so we just kind of want to enjoy it, like, you know, uh, first timers ever, ever going. And so, um, I didn't want to add any extra stress or, um, like, concern. I don't know. That might sound selfish. I apologize if it does, but I want to enjoy myself, uh, going to my very first Quilt Con and Quilt Show. Um, but I definitely want to say hi to you and see you if you are there. Um, that is going to be so, so much fun. Thank you, Ingrid, for putting it back up again. Appreciate that. Um, and then shortly after that, we have Stephanie's 20,000 subscriber bash, which is going to be a Friday night at 7 p.m. May, uh, March 1st. In addition to 20,000 subscriber bash, on March 1st, uh, Stephanie and my beach bum virtual retreat will be going live on Together We Sew, uh, the website, uh, the retreat website, so .com, um, Together We Sew Retreats .com, and the virtual retreat sign up will go live. Um, Stephanie's gonna, Stephanie has stuff, like we're trying to get ready to go to QuiltCon, and Stephanie has, this is her business, so she's got things going on. If you don't see the, the, you know, um, preview of the virtual retreat. Don't panic because it's not supposed to go live until March 1st. Um, but, uh, we, we will have that from March 1st to June 1st for the virtual retreat, June 23rd, Sunday. Um, a little, uh, like pre hangout. Um, Hey Deborah, you're all good. A little pre hangout at 9:30 as we just gather together and get make sure we have all of our tools and everything and we're set. And then we'll hit the ground running at 10. It'll will again be two patterns, so you'll get a pattern from me, an instruction from me, and you'll get a pattern from Stephanie, an instruction from Stephanie. We haven't talked about this. We might switch up the the order. Um, last retreat, I went first and then Stephanie went. We could switch it up again uh, or switch it up this time. Not really sure uh, what we'll end up doing, but um, but the the patterns go together for this beach bum experience. So um, we're really looking forward to you guys being able to to have like a a combo <laughs> of the of the patterns. So and that'll be June twenty third. 
Um, as you can tell, I am starting to lose my voice from hanging out all day yesterday on Steven's 10,000 Bash. Please, please, please. All of these folks that we've been talking about, they're working so hard at their channels. Please go check them out, subscribe, um, give a little comment, whatever uh, you you know can do just to be supportive of them. Uh, but yeah, Stephanie made 20,000 and Steven made 10,000 and Russ and I are working on 1,000. And I know we've, we've had some folks in here like um, Siberian Wind and um, and Cool Feck was in earlier, So Be It Quilts, which uh, is Fallon. So if you heard me saying Fallon, I might have not said So Be It Quilts and Fallon in the same breath, but that's who that is. Please definitely check them out. They have been so supportive of me here and I love to support them. Laura Lynn of the Mom and Quilt Shop. I think Ingrid put her YouTube out there um, and they do a lot of fun lives. Um, but we're, yeah, we're really here to build community and hang out with everybody. So for sure, check them all out. Make sure you're liking them and subscribing to them as well. Um, I appreciate all of the new folks who are here hanging out with me uh, and it <laughs> I just went over a year on YouTube so all of these milestones that I'm hitting with you guys have been just the most amazing thing so I just appreciate you all being here and helping me and having incredible chats and um, laughing together it's been so much fun so I appreciate your time today I think I am going to go <laughs> because I need to get some water. I am feeling scratchy. Uh, but have a fantastic Sunday. Um, if you are rooting for the Chiefs, yay Chiefs. If you're rooting for the Niners, yay you Niners. Um, I'm rooting for Reba McIntyre and Usher. So <laughs> I, I will watch the football. I love football, but um, I'm not particularly fond of either team uh, or not fond. I, they're just not my team. So um have fun watching that. Everybody be safe and I will see you again Thursday morning for the podcast. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much. Talk soon.